Good afternoon. I'm standing here with Laszlo Kishonti, CEO of ADAS Works, a very interesting startup in the autonomous driving space. Laszlo, thank you so much for joining us. Laszlo, tell us a bit about ADAS Works. ADAS Works develops uh, artificial intelligence algorithms for self-driving cars, uh, focusing uh, on processing parallel uh, data like uh, LiDAR, computer vision, uh, images from the cameras. Um, how different is what it has works pursuing versus the existing suppliers in the market? Uh, we focus mainly on the software side and we are hardware agnostic so we always use the best available platforms for our client and uh, which uh, makes it possible to use off-the-shelf components, off-the-shelf cameras which means uh, the cost is much more efficient and uh, thanks to this uh, we are able to process like uh, six cameras parallelly with a single chip uh, because you always can use the, the latest uh, generation of chips available. And there's a lot of buzz around the event, in the event around artificial intelligence and deep learning. How do you see that panning out for the autonomous driving space? Uh, more of the algorithms we use now are based on deep learning because the deep learning algorithms are very generic. Uh, they do what you teach like a child uh, and uh, it means that a single algorithm can uh, detect and understand uh, all the environment components around you so you don't need separate uh, pedestrian recognition, lane detection algorithms but uh, it, deep learning can provide a unified algorithm for all the use cases. Perfect. And what about hardware or processing requirements to kind of like deploy deep learning? on your, um, let's say, platforms? We currently use uh, parallel computing chips like FPGAs and GPUs most of the time, but we expect that in the near future there will be chips specifically designed for AI, which make the whole process much more efficient, power-wise as, well as, as well as cost-wise. And, and tell us a little bit about your partnership. Um, I think the NVIDIA PX2 is your first official uh, announcement. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, Monday is was very exciting because uh, NVIDIA and Volvo announced that uh, they will use uh, NVIDIA's new DrivePX2 uh, boards in uh, self-driving Volvo cars, more than 100 ones next year. And uh, it is important to us because we developed uh, the Surround View, intelligent Surround View software using the DrivePX and using our uh, deep learning algorithms. So Volvo is the first official customer? Uh, the first uh, official OEM, yes. OEM. Yeah. Right. And what about, let's say, um, what about your team and tell us a little bit about where you're set up, what your plans are for that. Uh, we currently uh, have the main team in Budapest, Hungary, but uh, thanks to a new funding round we are uh, expecting to receive from our investors. We will expand globally and set up small offices where the clients are, like in Silicon Valley and maybe in Asia. Perfect. And one last question. So. You know that this ADAS, this automated, automated driving space, is a space where traditional tier ones and chip companies and microelectronic companies, everybody wants a piece of this market. So how do you look to differentiate yourself in the future? Uh, there are not many, actually I don't know any, uh, companies who focus only the software part. And uh, we think that uh, uh, in the future, because it's, uh, it will have a very serious networking effect, uh, very focused companies who can provide a flexible software platform for many different uh, uh, OEMs or tier ones uh, will have an important role because uh, the more data you have and the more data you can process, uh, the, the more sophisticated your algorithms will be and more flexible they will be. And one last thing, so you, thus far you're, you're, you've had a very close partnership with NVIDIA and launched or kind of like gone to market through them. Yeah. So what about the future plans? Are you talking to a lot of tier ones and OEMs to kind of work with them directly? Yes, uh, one of the major things uh, we changed in our business model is that originally we thought we, we will work mostly with tier ones, but now we see that the OEMs think self-driving technology is strategic to their future and uh, we see that uh, most of the new projects will be with OEMs and then uh, tier ones will come into the space more like a production partner and not necessarily the strategic technology supplier. Perfect. And what are your thoughts so far of the show um, and everything you've seen here? Yes, it's probably the most important show in self-driving. Um, 
the whole show is about that, basically. Thank you so much, Laszlo. Thank you. Pleasure.